With the amount of money being thrown around in the Middle East, it's no surprise that some of the greatest engineering projects ever imagined are currently being discussed for the region, and none are more breathtaking than Saudi Arabia's uber-ambitious 100-mile-long mirrored skyscraper, which has engineers everywhere eagerly sitting up and taking notice. Today, we are discussing if Saudi Arabia's new skyscraper project is actually feasible or not. Stay with us. Let's jump straight in. What is this all about? Saudi Arabia set tongues wagging recently when plans for their ambitious new skyscraper project Project were revealed. The idea is to build two mirror-encased skyscrapers which will stretch more than 100 miles across the Arabian Peninsula, eventually becoming home to around 9 million people. So, is this doable? Well, right now, no one is really sure. The project, which some have suggested will cost around $1 trillion, is so incredibly extravagant and futuristic that many have doubted whether it will ever actually come to fruition. With plans to build on a site known as Neom around the Gulf of Aqaba, the project is almost certainly one of the most ambitious engineering tasks of all time, and will reportedly offer things like flying taxis as well as other futuristic services. The Saudis have claimed that AI will be central to proceedings in the city, billed as a revolution in civilization, which will cram a huge city into a 100-mile-long line with buildings of up to 500 meters tall across an area just 200 meters wide. This will hopefully limit pollution and will be designed to be car-free as well as carbon neutral. Sustainability is the name of the game, and the design will mean that residents will have everything they need within five minutes of their home. It has also been claim that you can get from one end to the other in just 20 minutes, which could mean that traditional cities could soon be a thing of the past. What else do we know about the line then? Let's see. Well, there will be no need for cars, and the temperature will all be controlled and regulated, meaning people can live in relative comfort. The project is being designed by world-renowned architects and will be housed within an elegant mirrored glass facade, which means to the naked eye from the desert, it will be barely visible. The project also aims to have 100% renewable energy and water supplies, featuring a series of unique communities as you move down the line. They will all reportedly offer incredible views of the surrounding environment and have easy access to nature, and it is being marketed as a place where commerce and communities can thrive like nowhere else before. However, Saudi Arabia's past pledges to bring in environmental policy have all but failed, which some environmentalists have cited as the reason why this particular project might not even get off the ground. The kingdom have also revealed that the groundbreaking city will operate under its own law, but stopped short of announcing any sort of plans to introduce alcohol. The project is thought to be favored by Prince Mohammed as a way to move the Saudi nation into the 21st century and ultimately move away from oil dependence. As somewhat of a forward thinker in relation to his Saudi peers, Mohammed wants to change the perception of his country, which has been derided for human rights abuses, amongst other things in the past few decades. What do you guys make of Neom? So, is it actually feasible? Stay tuned to find out. Well, as we suggested earlier, there are serious doubts as to whether or not this will actually happen. First and foremost is funding. Of course, the Saudis aren't short of a few dollars but they will almost certainly try to attract some private investment to achieve Prince Mohammed's dreams of seeing the most livable city in the world come to fruition. Mohammed has big plans, there is no doubt about it. He wants the project to be seen as Saudi Arabia's own version of the pyramids, but some analysts have suggested that the project is simply too grand. One consultant who has been appointed to advise the government said, with little access to the site and only eight years left before residents are meant to move in, it's a lot to take on trust. And then there's the inertia in the system. It's hard to excise that. And Robert Mogil Nicky of the Arab Gulf States Institute in Washington has also claimed that the project is now so much different than original concepts that it is difficult to determine its direction. But Prince Mohammed has recently been bullish in discussing Neom and sees it as the perfect answer to Saudi Arabia's expected population boom in the coming years, and it would also create a ton of jobs. As ambitious as this project is, it might be a little too much for the Saudis to take on, but if they do manage it, it'll be one of the greatest feats of engineering ever. Do you think they can do it? Next up, the Saudis have applied to have Neom host the 2029 Asian Winter Games. So, stay tuned. Before a brick or mirror has even been laid, Saudi Arabia have applied for Neom to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Last week, they reportedly sent a letter of interest to the Olympic Council of Asia, which was designed to make the council aware of their desire to host the Games in just seven years' time. Of course, given the fact that Saudi Arabia is situated in one of the world's hottest regions, they have never hosted the Winter Games and would be the first Middle Eastern or Arab country to do so since the Games' inception back back in 1986. The idea is for the event to be hosted in the Trojana Mountain area, which will boast an all-year-round ski village. The area is set to receive an influx of cash from the Kingdom's Public Investment Fund, who currently own English Premier League club Newcastle United. The fund has been a source of controversy of late and have even been accused of sports washing, a process when a government or institution uses sports to improve its negative reputation. And their bid to host the 2029 Games is sure to attract criticism from human rights groups, who will undoubtedly claim the project is just 
just another way of the Saudis attempting to improve their image via sports. Whatever happens, it will be interesting to see if they are ready to host the games in just seven years. What do you guys think? Rather unsurprisingly, the Israelis have criticized the project. Stay tuned. Before it's even gotten off the ground, the Neon Project has been criticized by many scholars. After Prince Mohammed claimed that the country cannot ignore the livability and environmental crises facing the world's cities, before going on to suggest that Neom represents imaginative solutions to a whole host of issues. The name of the city actually comes from the Greek word for new, neos, with the Arabic word for future. But whilst the Saudis clearly think this is the way forward, one particular Israeli scholar has suggested it isn't. And this isn't a particularly new concept either. After two American architects actually designed a linear city back in the 60s, which obviously didn't come to fruition. Eliyahu Keller, an Israeli historian and architect, said of the proposed project, the Saudis are presenting a sort of science fiction jumble, Black Mirror, with touches of Blade Runner, and with an abundance of references to experimental architecture projects designed throughout the 20th century, before suggesting that the planned city is simply for PR purposes. Keller went on to suggest that the proposal is problematic, and they are putting too much blind faith in the power of technology to solve humanity's problems. Keller then questioned why people would want to go there, what kind of community it would be, and what sort of government there will be, and who will build this insane project. Do you agree with Keller? Let us know below. And finally, you could bag yourself a job in the futuristic new city. Project managers pay attention. The Saudi government are reportedly on the lookout for people who are interested in having a hand in building Neon. The kingdom is looking for project managers who would be willing to relocate to help build the 100-mile-long city. It is thought that the project will include hotels, restaurants, and a low-rise resort, as well as a project known as Gas Station Hotel, which includes two 500-meter-high hotel towers. It is also hoped the project will transform the Saudi economy and attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists each year. The smart city will, of course, include an airport, as well as other attractions such as Neom Bay and Neom Industrial City. Whether or not the Saudis will be able to attract the world's top building talent to the country remains to be seen. I mean, working in 50-degree heat might not be worth it, no matter how much money is on offer. Would you guys go and work in the desert? Let us know below. As usual, thanks for dropping in today, and remember to join us again next time when we will be discussing all sorts of other cool bits and pieces. And why not do us a solid by liking and sharing today's video with anyone you think might be interested. Bye guys!